Hello everybody and welcome back. Thanks for coming on over and checking out see what's going on here in my orchid life. So yesterday's video of how many orchids do I have somehow decided one to stop close to the end. So I'm going to post the rest of that today. But in front of that, I figure I would also do this unboxing and that will be my complete count of how many orchids do I have. So first I want to thank Rhea or Rhea. I'm not sure if it's a long ear, short E. Um, for letting me know about the special that Orchid Classics was having on Phalaenopsis. You could pick four for a price and I told them to surprise me. I did not pick what I have in here. They picked it for me. So let's be surprised together. And I have a pin. That's kind of cool. All right, well, I can use this at work depending on how it writes. I'm very picky on that move the box out of the way on oh, their package well this is taped to the side of the box and then there's they're all four in bubble wrap so let me move the box over here and see where this tape starts maybe I can just take the tape off sorry if it's really noisy oh this is wrapped really well okay, and looks like it's in paper towel uh, it's, they're wrapped in damp paper towels. Awesome. All right, let's see what we have here for the first one. And these are all supposed to be blooming size. So, and some of them may come bare rooted, they said. This one is the Phalaenopsis hieroglyphia. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. And of course, I'll post the names. And Orchid Classics is where I got this from. They will need to be potted up because this one is just in here really loose. But since she is in here kind of loose, let's just kind of pull her out. Oh, look at those beautiful roots. So it looks like they took her out of whatever pot she was in and stuck her in here to ship. All right, so there is one. Like I said, I did not pick these, so I am going to be as surprised as everyone else as far as what kind it is. I just told them to surprise me. I just know it's four Phalaenopsis. And they're all um, species or species crosses. So none of these are the big hybrids that we are used to seeing. Like I said, I'm getting more and more into these. I just think they're so pretty. And from what I remember, I believe the hieroglyphia is fragrant. Of course, I'll have to do some more research on all the ones I got here since I did not pick them first. And I will let you guys know in a future video which ones are supposed to be fragrant and which ones are not. Oh, and then this one is taped to it, okay? Again, wrapped in a damp paper towel. Uh-oh, okay, yes. I'm so glad they sent me this one. It's the Philippinensis, I think. Let me see. Yes. So, the Phalaenopsis Philippinensis. And the thing I love about this is it's like the Shilleriana. Uh, it's got those mottled leaves. Absolutely gorgeous gorgeous. Look at those mottled leaves. Look at that. Look how pretty that's going to be once it opens up. Again, looks like they took it out of the pot it was originally in because it's really loose in here, um, but the moss is really compacted around it, so they must have taken it out of wherever pot it was in and stuck it in here for shipment. But the roots look pretty good there. And I will put them under a fan just because they are wrapped in this um, damp paper towel just to make sure that there's no moisture in the crown to make sure that gets dried out really good. I might even set them outside because it is kind of breezy right now here in Denver. Just had a storm earlier, but it's um, the breeze is going pretty good. So I might put them out there just to make sure that they get dried out really well. All right, oh, this is a nice big one. This is the tag. This is a Phalaenopsis sandir sandirinia, sandirina. There we go. And look at her. Look at that big, nice leaf. This is the latest leaf that she's grown, so. Up, oh, and we have a new root growing in. And again, she's kind of loose in her pot as well. I bet nurseries like it whenever you tell them, just, just pick the plants for me and you're not being picky. Probably makes it easier for them. Because what if I'd have picked one that they didn't have anymore and I had to get a substitute that I, I wanted, but it wasn't the one I originally wanted, the disappointment. So by saying just surprise me, then they can just kind of pick and choose. And so far they've done a really, really good job. Oh, this one has, oh my goodness gracious, this one has roots galore. Let's see, will it just pull up off of there? It will. 
Okay, up, oh, and then this one has blooms and there's a tag. There's no tag. Okay, but I'm thinking, so there is no tag in here, but I'm almost certain that this is another loose berry because I actually have a loose berry that looks very, very similar. So I'll have to go on their website and double check, but I'm pretty sure that this is the loose berry or a version of it because mine is a little bit different than this. I'll, um, let me show you this bloom, but I will post a picture of my loose berry that I have because I believe mine is a little more pink in the sepals and the petals and the lip has more of a pinkish purple as opposed to this purple magenta. But we've got lots of buds coming here. And again, I think this one is in, nope, it looks like she was taken out too because there's this big space right here. So they probably pushed her in this little pot. But I'm pretty sure that this is a loose berry. I, like I said, I'll go on their website and double check. And if so, I'll put that in the description down below as well as write a little tag. And this one got a little damaged, little, little piece of the leaf broke off, but that's okay. She has some fabulous roots in there. And I think I'm just gonna keep them all in moss. So let me move the box out of the way. All right, so we have the Philippinensis. Philippinensis, the I'm pretty sure Lou's Berry here, and then the Sand Sandarina, Sandarina here. And who wants to fall because of the way that she is. So I'll just lay her this way. And then we have the hieroglyphic, Hieroglyphica. They are just stunning. I can't wait for them to relax all their leaves where they kind of lay flat. Just stunning. Um, as a matter of fact, let me just pull out my Phalaenopsis Yepon Evergreen. Her leaves are starting to relax and lay down. When I got her, she was standing up straight. Um, I've had her for about a month and she's put on two blooms so far, but these are still extending and there looks like another bloom coming here. So we will have an update on our summer Phalaenopsis species novelty type um, here in the next few weeks. But thank you so much for coming by and watching this little unboxing. And I will again post the rest of my collection at the end of this video. And with these, if I count correctly, and anybody else can correct me in the comments down below because obviously I can miscount, but I believe I now have 64 Phalaenopsis to include the novelty and my hybrids. And then all together, I have 110 orchids in my living room. Um, if you get a different count, let me know. I will also post the first video um, in the description down below and add a tag um, up up here somewhere, somewhere up in here. Um, for those of you who missed the first one, so you can go back. But other than that, let's move on to the rest of the collection. Okay. Let's get to this table here. I have the Phalaenopsis Tosico date crossed with DTPS Pure Moon, who recently was repotted into here and had a lot of roots cut off and is pouting, so she's gonna be fine. And then we have the Phalaenopsis Timothy Christopher crossed with Phalaenopsis Amabus, Amabus that produced this cakey and the growth, this latest leaf is very large. I had, don't see any leaves down here quite yet, but that's okay. Um, I said leaves, roots, but mom is still, still survive, um, providing what she needs, sorry. And then here we have our Deja No ID Phalaenopsis who's recovered. And then here we have our Sarai 2.0 Phalaenopsis No ID. And then we have Miss Wendy, also a No ID Phalaenopsis, who, if you can see, has a little break in that leaf. Well, that's because somebody dropped a mount on her. And then over here I have my Miltoniopsis Lila. I'll post the official name on there. I just call her Lila. And that was also a gift from Nicole Deanna that ended up being two plants in one when I repotted. And what I've been doing is keeping water in the reservoir for two days, emptying the reservoir for 24 hours and then putting the water back in. I'm finding that the cocoa husk is staying moist enough that she's not drying out, but I'm afraid of crown rot. Not crown rot, that orange rot. And I'm a little out of breath, so sorry. And then here we have another no ID phalaenopsis. And then over here we have the Potanera Montana Spirit Big Sky that was recently mounted onto here. 
with a new growth and then two new roots growing. And above her, we have our BCT um, Hawaiian treat, who has been in bloom now going on about six weeks. And I believe the flowers are going to start going over soon because they are starting to look a little shrivelly. Here we have three soft clouds on a mount. This one, you can actually see the root growth. Here we have a no ID phalaenopsis. And then here we have our unimpressive, let me just kind of put my hand in front of the light so it's not too much of a glare, but if you can see, she's growing a new leaf. Okay, well, on the end of this, I forgot these three. So here is my Brassavola Little Stars on a mount, and then my two Hippodamias, um, Brassocatlea Hippodamias also on mounts. This one here does not live here. I just put it here to film them all three together. It actually lives in my kitchen right by the window. And if we zoom in a little bit, I believe, let's see if I can get there. There's a new growth right there on that one. And then this one up here has a pretty little root coming up on it. Do you see it right there? Right there by the little white perlite. All right, now that is all of them. From what I counted, I have 106 orchids in my living room. So if anyone got a different count, let me know. And I am going to also count how many phalaenopsis of that 106 I have just to see. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys when you come back for another visit.